Well, it's now time for Heartland Pets and Diane Doherty with St. Francis Care brings us Norman, a terrier mix looking for his forever home. Welcome back to St. Francis. We are appropriately dressed for what we've been going through. Everybody's had so much rain, and this is Norman. He's a little brown. They're, they're brothers, and Nash is the white one. They're terrier mixes. They are seven months old, and they are ready. If you come in and adopt, we'll give you the raincoat because you're going to need it. The weather everywhere has just been so rainy, so we thought it would be cute to dress them appropriately. But they are great dogs. They're the last two of their litter. They were a litter of five that were, were saved from a kill shelter, so we have them. But we've had them for seven months. Um, I do want to tell you how excited I am. Adoptions are finally going up. I know I'm on here, I'm a negative Nelly. We don't have any adoptions, we got a lot of returns. Adoptions are finally going up. So maybe we're making a turn uh, maybe it's a national trend, a regional trend, or maybe just us, I don't know. But we, we are seeing more adoptions and that is awesome. So we need these two to get a home though. Uh, Norman is uh, very cuddly and he just wants to lay on your lap and watch Channel 12. And Nash is more playful. Nash loves toys. He's been in here with his squeaky toy. and. Uh, I mean, they would both, they're not a bonded pair. It'd be great if you could take both of them. Their adoption fee is only $150. And uh, obviously they would play together and, and be best friends for life. But uh, they aren't a bonded pair. We will uh, adopt them separately, even though they have lived the last, oh, let's say, yeah, adopt me the last seven months together. They're not gonna get too much bigger. Uh, they're, they're, as I said, they're great with kids. Uh, they're obviously good with other dogs. So they would be a wonderful family member. I do wanna talk to you just a little bit about the storms. We did make it through the 4th of July. I did see a lot of posts of uh, dogs lost on Facebook and hopefully they all got returned because hopefully you did have your name on your collar, your phone number, and everybody was able to end up you know, back at home. Storms can be as loud, if not louder, than fireworks. So the same protocols apply. Put them in a dark room, you know, turn on the TV really loud. Try to soothe them for, through the storms because they can tear down fences, they can tear down walls because they get very anxious. I, I just lost my dog that was so anxious in the storms. And uh, I mean, she was terrified and I would, I'd have to do a lot of things, drugs included, to get her to calm down. So just don't let them suffer in the storms. So come here, come here, sweetie, come here, come here. As I always say, come get me.